Hello, friends. It's nice to be back giving you a short message on behalf of the friends who meet in the church at Union Hall in Broad Street in Cowdenbeath. And I would like to tell you about a religious leader in my little talk to you today. He's called Nicodemus. And Jesus met him one evening. And it's recorded for us in John's Gospel, chapter number three. And the section I'm thinking about is verses one to eight. And in that little section, Nicodemus asked Jesus a question. And the reply from Jesus was pointed and straight. Jesus spoke to him about being born again as an adult. Understandably, the man was puzzled. How can this be? said Nicodemus. One cannot go through the process of conception and pregnancy for a second time. Jesus then enlightened him. I am, spe I am not speaking about human and natural birth. I'm talking about spiritual and heavenly birth. Jesus continued, if it were possible for a man to be born often, that man would still be the same. Natural births will always be natural birth. But Jesus said, spiritual birth is from above. And he was talking about being born anew. From above was a spiritual birth. Sometimes we hear people saying, I'm a born again Christian. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Jesus said to Nicodemus, don't marvel, don't be surprised that one can be born again from above. Now, I would just like to tell you that I was born naturally to my mother over 80 years ago. And when I was 12 years old, I was born again, spiritually. And that celebrate, I celebrate that this incoming week, November the 25th. And when I was 12 years old, I gave my life and my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, and I was born from above, born spiritually. Jesus said, it's difficult to understand this, but there are many things in this life that we don't understand. For example, where does the wind come from? We don't see it, but we see the effects of it. Just so the matter of being born again is like that, because it's born of the Holy Spirit. I stand before you today as an example of that, a living example, one who has been born again. How is it possible then? It's dependent on faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and the great work that he did on the cross at Calvary, when he died on behalf, on my behalf, and he took my place and took away my sin and guilt, when he gave himself as a sacrifice to God. For people like me and you, people who in our natural birth were born sinners, not because we practice sin, but because we are of a sinful nature. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 and verse 19, for us by one man, one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one man shall many be made righteous. So in our natural self, we are of Adam's line. 
and so constituted as sinners. But Jesus Christ came from heaven to bring a new and spiritual line through giving himself as an offering to a holy God for sin. Therefore, when we trust him as our saviour and put our faith and belief in that great work of salvation, we can be born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. That's what First Peter in the New Testament says, verse chapter 1 and verse 23. What a lovely birthday present it would be if you took that step of faith and trust and belief in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, when he gave himself as a sacrifice for sin at the cross of Calvary. And you too can be born again and born into the family of God. Now, there's something to think about today. And may, as you think about it and ponder it, you might decide for the Lord Jesus as your own and your personal saviour and become a born-again Christian. What a lovely thing that would be happening today. Now, thank you for listening, and I trust that God will bless you. And if you're interested in these things, why not come to one of our gospel services at four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon in Union Hall in Broad Street in Cowdenbeath? Thank you. Goodbye.